hello guys welcome to my channel my name is abhishek and today we'll learn how to swap the value of a and b using pointers okay generally normally if we'll swap the values without sending the address what will happen is the value of a and b will not get swapped that is they'll be the same why is it so because you can see in this example if we are having the value of a and b as 2 and 3 okay and if we print the value of a and b initially what will be the output 2 and 3 will be the output simply okay and when we'll send it to the swap function the value will go here and the value of 2 and 3 are actually copied in the variable x and y okay so the swapping will happen but it will happen only with the local variables so initially the value of x will be what 2 when we'll pass it as argument and initially the value of y will be 3 okay so after performing this task we'll put <coughs> the value of x in t so t will become 2 and x will be equal to y x will get the value of y that is we'll have 3 here and y will be equal to t that is y will have the value of t that is y will be 2 so if we'll print the value of y x and y inside this method so it will give the value as swap value but after completing uh, this statement when we'll print the value of a and b what will happen is the value of a and b will st still be the same so output will still be 2 comma 3 why is it so because the changes are made in the uh, these arguments that is local arguments the actual changes are not made in these arguments why is it so because the copy of this value is the values of a and b are actually copied in x and y not their addresses if we'll pass the address to this function what will happen is the changes will be made in these variables itself so this is achieved by using pointers this is the <coughs> example now let's see how is this working simply we have defined a method as swap which will take two pointer uh, arguments pointer values as integer pointers okay this is the method declaration now we have a main method inside this we have declared int a is equal to 10 and b equals 20 and simply we are sending the address by using the ampersand sign okay this is the address of address of operator we'll send the address of a and b to this function swap function and these address will be received by the pointers x and y respectively why we are taking pointers here is because we are sending the address and the address will be received by the pointers x and y so in this case also we are taking a temp variable and we are assigning temp equal to star of x what is star of x star means address of operator okay so address value at address operator actually sorry not address of ampersand is address of operator okay address of operator and star is the value at address operator okay so it represents the value at that particular address now temp is initialized the value of star x that is value at the address x since x is a pointer okay and star x equals star y that means the value at the address x is equal to the value at the address y okay and similarly star y equal to temp means the value at the address y is equal to the value contained in a temp variable the scenario will be something like this let me explain you with this thing with the help of a diagram so initially we have a and b as 10 20 let's suppose the address is 100 and 150 when we'll send the address here so the x will contain the address of a that is x will contain 100 this is the address of a and y will contain the address of b that will be 150 okay so now we'll declare a temp variable so let's say this is temp and when we'll say temp equal to star of x that means the value at this particular address so x has the value x has the address 100 and the value at her address 100 is 10 so temp will hold the value 10 okay star x means what is star star x if x is 100 the value at this address star x means value at this address so value at this address is this thing 10 address is 100 okay so value at this address is 10 so that's why temp will store 10 similarly star x equal to y so that means the value is getting overridden so x is this and star x means this value so star x equal to star y so what will happen is the value will here become the value of b that is 20 star y because if y is 150 so what will be star y that is value at that address so value at address 150 is 20 so that's why this is replaced with 20 and when we'll say star y equal to stem that means 
star y means value at address of y so y is containing the address 150 and the value at this particular address is what 20 so we are talking of this 20 here 20 means star y so star y equals temp so what is temp temp is initialized to 10 here so we are changing the value of 20 to 10 so it will get overridden and the value of b will be 10 okay so the main concept is when we'll pass the actual address then only the changes in the actual arguments will be done and if we'll not pass the address that is if we'll simply uh, do use the call by value ref uh, call by value concept so what will happen is the copy of the variables will be formed x will get the value of a and y will get the value of b so a copy is formed so the work is not performed in the actual arguments okay so this is the case so this was the program how to exchange the value of a and b using pointers so that's it from this video guys this was a simple example if you liked it click on the thumbs up button do subscribe to my channel and take care bye bye we'll keep on bringing these videos